What is up, guys? I finally made it down here to the eastern shore. Out here with my buddy Will and Henry. You can see the beautiful bay behind me there. And uh, we are out here behind the 1850s, 1860s permission. Absolutely beautiful day. It's like 68 degrees. About a four hour ride up here. That was a little much, but uh, I am here. I've been probing right down the sides of the property line. And let me flip you around and show you what's Today, going on. We are looking for privies. Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a big group bottle dump dig. It's gonna be a good time. Two I days of digging. It's coming out, but it's all, at least gonna be the three of us. We hope so. Digger Dave's gonna show up. I'll message him here yeah, in a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't message him on Facebook because I'm not his friend. Or, I got his. I got his information. Yeah. I what the other guy but I found, I found a walkway, brick walkway, or something running right down the edge of the property line, right on the edge of these like thick stuff here. It's like kind of swampy. A little wet. Already hit the water. I probed down and I hit a bottle and the guys already pulled it out. And it was a uh, blown and mold beer. Probably uh, Baltimore. They had like a Chesapeake Brewing Company. Um, yeah, that mold line looks like a Chesapeake Brewing Company. Yeah, that's a nice one early. Would have had a little slug plated turtle on it. They're really cool. 1910. I'd love to find one of the turtle And bottles. then right near that, we just found a little like 20s uh, Art Deco jar. A little condiment jar. Yeah, yeah so 20s, 30s. There's whole Here's stuff. more pieces of it. I'm not thinking So we're it's just a, now getting down into big. it. I think we're into a privy. You can see glass sticking out just about everywhere. The water lines. But the water is, is literally like two feet <laughs> under the ground. The yeah. only good thing is it's real warm today. So getting wet's not going to be too bad of an issue. But we're going to open this up and uh, see what we can find. I don't know if it's a wood liner. I have not really found no definitive walls yet, but it does have glass. <laughs> A decent amount of glass down in there. What is that? Hold on a minute. It feels like plastic. With clay or... It does? Is yeah. It? it might be. It's a Bakelite? Bakelite. It might be Phil. That's Bakelite. Oh, Bakelite? Yeah. Bakelite. All right, guys. Well, we're going to start opening this up. I think it's going to be a really, really good day. And I think this trash line goes back a good ways. There was a brick walkway I followed all the way to it ended right here and dropped the probe down and there's glass. So we're going to open it up and see what it is. Stay tuned for the action, guys. Let's get it. Okay guys, not a privy as you can see, just a little trash pit, but I'm um, working over towards these, this thicker stuff over here. Got a bottle sticking out right there, and one just popped out right here. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what it is. No, it's, uh, it's all peened out. Whatever it was is all peened out. It is blown in mold tooled top I'd say 80s 1880s 1890s on that one nice little med take it down to the water and then get a couple of them together I think that might be a soda or something yeah. you want the little uh, here yeah let me see the little, little shovel that little shovel one of those little shovels this is the smallest one huh mine's laying right there behind your foot this tiny oh that's big and small my privy shovel well, we right. got a little garden trowel if you want that. You want the garden trowel instead? No, because I got to take this top piece off of here. Oh, there's something, a little jar or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think it's a jar. That's a milk bottle. Is it? Looks like it. A little must, uh, barrel jar. What the heck is that? I don't know. Some kind of weird little condiment jar. It's got a 14, an A, and a 64 on it, John. You can see there. Machine-made screw top. And then this one here. It's a coffee premier coffee jar, yeah. Is that what that is, a coffee premier? It's a lot newer than that, Ned. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, there's a big mixture in here. Couple condiments and a blown and mold bed so far. 
nothing crazy but we're gonna keep on messing around guys you never know see you all right guys i'm filling in the little test hole we made over there that was a newer trash pit like 30s 40s 50s era and the guys are up here possibly working on a little wood liner they're getting into a little bit earlier stuff 80s 90s blowing them old meds two of them double popped out of the ground and, uh, right there like double colors you can see there's like oyster shells and looks like maybe a lime layer they're coming into in there. yeah i think here. i think you guys are in a little small wood line privy possibly i'm gonna keep going over here and filling this and working a yeah, little bit more see if anything older comes Those out but medium shovel circuit these little yeah, chunks out. all right guys we'll see you back on the next one i think it's gonna get good guys check it out henry's down here in the water he's got a flask in the hole and this early early med just came out or broken med just came out but here it comes that's a, no, that's a pickle pickle jar pickle jar blown in mold has something on the bottom of it. i can't tell what it is is it blown it looks like it yeah, is it looks with like that a flared lip. I'd oh, say, yeah. That's a cool one. I actually never found one of those. With that flared out lip. Yeah, I'd say. You gotta get this water out of here somehow. Eat water's making it easier for me. Pretty soon it's gonna be like a foot deep. Yeah, it will. That's All a right, one. little pickle bottle. Some earlier stuff is starting to that come out, on, though. Um, you guys can see there. Part of that. that could have been a Pepto Mangan, possibly, thing. or... No, that's not even no. the same color. Uh-uh. Heck no, that ain't no Pepto Mango, dude. That oh, was like a, way better than This that. was like a sarsaparilla or something, I think. It was something nice. You see all the oyster shells hey, and stuff yeah, coming no out? Yeah, no wonder they brought this yeah, they, they, they're, they're, they're almost, they're, they were extinct at one point, too, so. Uh, Man. Nothing else is coming out right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I think we're, I think we're in a little privy oh, here, right guys. There. Look at that. All right, that we'll keep working right at there. it. I'm going to go back up here where I'm at and keep filling that trench in, and then I'll be down here to join them. All right, guys, right, I'm doing that. a little metal detecting around this 1850s, 1860s permission. We've been finding, like, modern bottles and stuff and turn-of-the-century stuff, but nothing super old. I got a solid 85 signal in here. Go. Down here. Right on top, it seems like. Solid 85, right glass. there it is. Oh, Look, some glass right there. Too. See that, guys? Coin in the hole, baby. Pull my glove off, Will. Oh, I think it's silver. Some older glass. Here it comes. A dime. It is a Mercury dime. dime, at least. No, it's a uh, 2001, oh. I think. Pretty sure. That did come out though. That is melted, whatever it is. I can get this thing to focus for me. 2007. Oh, P. That's even since they uh, Philadelphia. Barely before they bought this house. 2007. Russell could have dropped that. 2007. <laughs> there you go, guys. No silver, but it is pretty. It's got some nice detail on it. So that means the soil is pretty decent in here. It's like a sandy. I mean, you can even see the hairline and everything. So hopefully some silver comes out. We do got a coin, though. All right, see guys, I'm just working. Uh, the high signals, there's a lot of iron, a lot of can slaw, a lot of aluminum trash in this yard. Um, I just hit an 88 solid. 88 solid is usually a large scent for me. Let's see what we got. I got it just the corner of it showing right there. You can see. Go ahead and pop her out of there and see what we got. Definitely got a coin. We definitely got an older coin. It's not modern. We got an older coin, guys, for sure. Come on, baby. What we got? What do we got? It's got the. It seems like it's got the reaches on the side. I don't know how long they did that. I think it's just a regular quarter. I think it's just a regular quarter. It says Liberty. Probably a silver quarter, at least. No, I don't think. 
Not with that orange on the side of it. It'd be real shiny if it was silver. I think it's just a quarter, guys. I'll have to show it better when I get it cleaned up, but it does, I do see the Liberty part on it. I'm not sure. Let me get that cleaned off a little bit and I'll see you guys right back. Guys, I'm in the backyard. It looks kind of old. I'm pretty sure I just popped out a gold ring. Check that out, guys. Look at that beauty. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid gold ring right there. And the... Uh, the woman that owns the property said her husband lost his wedding band. It does. It does look like a man's wedding band. No, that's beautiful. It says 14 carat. Does that sound right, Beth? Yeah, 14 carat. He might have buried it here himself. I don't know. That's really, really awesome. Look at that, guys. That's funny. A wedding band. Yeah. Now the day's getting interesting. <laughs> what do you want, Will? Awesome. I'm Heck yeah, myself. guys. Check that out. We're going to wait till the uh, man of the house comes down, and I'll see you guys right back. All right, guys, the big reveal. Check it out, brother, man. I just popped out a, a men's uh, wedding band right here. You can try it on? And uh, your wife said that you lost one like 15 years ago. I did. You did? See if that's yours. If it fits. Unless your fingers have gotten fatter. It looks like it, but I don't think that's... Which one do I put it on? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's yours, brother, man. Was it How in the hell years? would it get out here? I have no idea. I couldn't answer well, that. Just, I'm just she, a finder. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yes, sir. I'm really, I'm really glad, really glad that I found that for you, brother. Because uh, look guess, at that, guys. Now it's official. Huh? Found the man's <laughs> wedding band. Yeah, that's awesome right there. How about that? Yay! <laughs> I love this hobby and this job. Ah, there's, that, there's your, there's your that's right really there. special to be it able to do that, brother. I've, I've never, I've never recovered anything like that that you know belonged to the homeowner before. That's awesome. Special to us too. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. How about that, guys? Yeah, <laughs> found the dude's wedding band 15 years later, right in the backyard. Heck yeah, we're going to see what else we can now find. What, now what we got to do is figure out what I was doing. Crawling <laughs> around in the backyard. Probably working You could have been mowing. Time. You could have been starting the lawnmower or I chopping mowing, wood. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe working in the uh, garden. Yeah. Could have been working in the garden. That's unbelievable. That's awesome, brother. I'm real happy for you. How did it happen? All right, guys. See you back. All right, guys, me, Will, and Henry, yeah. just right. back out here in the woods, just down from mm -hmm. some old properties, messing around, and I'm pretty sure we just found an old bottle dump. Check it out. Just put, a just put the shovel in the ground and poke down, and look at that. Real nice ash there's material. all kinds of pieces on top. Yeah, there's all kinds of old strap side whiskey flash. There's a there's a real nice honey tolu, pieces of blob. There's a Baltimore loop steel blob laying there. So yeah, we're just gonna tag team a hole right here, guys. For I don't know, we got about an hour and a half of light, I think. See what we can pull out of here. Heck yeah, it's been an awesome day. Had a ring recovery unexpected, and uh, oh, nice ink. Right yeah, there. a little spool ink. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, let's see what we can get. Stay tuned for the action. Right, guys, we're still 
We're still out here walking around in the woods and Will's over here hooting and hollering. I think he's done found some kind of crazy surface vine. I started picking it up and I saw unboxing and I'm like, nope, got to, got to record it. So that's what I saw. I was like, oh, a strep sided flask, but. Oh man, look at that. M Brother. Green, N M Greenbaum liquor dealer. 116 East Pratt Street, Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, sir. Uh, what is that, hinge mold? Yep. <laughs> Dang, Will. Nice surface find, brother. That, we got to get yeah, a rake, a rake, rake out here there. or something, man. Dang. Look at that, guys. That was literally right here near all this newer stuff. M. Greenbaum, liquor dealer. 116 East Pratt Street, <laughs> Baltimore, Maryland. Nice find, Will. Heck yeah, guys. We gotta get a rake or something out here. Yes, sir. We're gonna keep messing around. See you back. All right, guys, day number two. We're out here at a town dump with my buddy Joe, who I just met, Henry, and Will. And we're just now starting on a hole. We've been about 20 minutes. He did a little scouting and decided we were going to dig right here. There are some bottles coming up. We got a couple vinegar cruets, sauce bottles, and uh, Will just popped out a nice hobble skirt Coca Cola right there. Yeah, it's probably 15 or 23. Yep, Christmas Coke. What is it? Oh, December 25th, 1923. There we go. Nice. What East, is it? Easton, Maryland. Easton? Yeah. It's got some case wear, but it actually looks... Oh, there's a flash right there. Yeah, there's a little one. Yeah, yeah. A bad glass yeah I think these were so. root glass. Probably root glass, yeah. But Easton, Maryland, 1923 yeah, hobble skirt right coat. That looks about we it. We call those a Christmas coat. Yep. You see, uh, yep. December 25th, 1923. Yes, sir. So this is probably... You see the layer we're in right now, guys. Real nice burn rust layer we're working in. And uh looks like about 1915, 20s era right now. What's that little bottle, Will? Oh, bro. Broken lead. extractor med. Yeah. That was a cork top, though. All right. We're going to keep working at it, guys. See you back. All right, guys, we're back here just doing some exploring, walking around. We did find a little surface dump and uh, check out what Henry just popped out, guys. So both Will and Henry now, back-to-back -back days, blobs. Look at that. We got a Mount Bottling Company from Baltimore, Maryland. They were a little further away than me, so I couldn't get to them for the actual find. But, yeah, right on the right under the leaves he found that. Is that a cool hand seek? Very, very cool. Or it's a mason. Yeah, I think it's just a mason. It's an earlier one, though. But I'll show you some of the shards coming out. There's some cork top meds. There's some uh, machine made and blown in mold crown tops. Big purple. A, yeah, uh, real nice. Don't put that up in there. <laughs> real nice purple whiskey bottles. Yeah. I mean, check that out. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Maybe a demijohn. Not a normal one either. Yeah. But yeah, we're just gonna mess around and see what else we can find, guys. But that's awesome right there. Mm -hmm. That is nice, right on top. All right, see you back. Check it out, guys. We're all spread out, and uh, I'm in this just this little section. It's only about maybe six inches deep. But right here, it looks like I possibly got a bottle in the hole. It says, the king of tonics. I don't know. It might just be a little tiny shard. But as I go forward more and more, you can see more of it. I don't have my pick or nothing because we're just out here exploring. So I just got my little shovel. So I'm just going to kind of dig a spot right here beside it to where I can safely extract it. I don't want to pry on it or anything because it could just snap it right off. So uh, it's kind of softer clay right here. You can see not real deep, but it is soft. We're up here on the Eastern shore. So 
real moist ground and pretty easy digging not like back home where it's super rock hard you can see even you know down under the main ground part you saw it move there a little bit that's not a good sign so it's just that panel it says uh blood life dang that's cool i'll keep that little shard though that panel blood life the great anti-toxic dang that's cool the king of tonics too bad that wasn't full but i am going to keep messing around and that is a neat little shard for somebody to make something out of <laughs> blood life spelled b-l-u-d very cool all right guys see you guys we're still out exploring we we found another little small dump and uh Right away, Will just popped out a real nice cork top Raleigh's med. Yeah. There's a whole section of in here. That's a nice one. Usually. Joe's got nice. another Raleigh's med. <laughs> got a set of Raleigh's meds and there's more stuff one coming out. Too. No, that's a, that's like a square. And there's all five. Oh yeah, is that oh is that a bitters? I don't think it's a bitters, but it could be. Or at least Raleigh's we're right. Meds. It looks like we're right around 1915 early 1920s at the moment just right under the surface most of these dumps we found today are off and try to just get it right the under the surface looks like it's holding it this. might be another raleigh's mm -hmm. i can't they tell an ember one, didn't they? i don't i don't know what that one is with dirt. might be a big pocket of raleigh's yep no no no, no 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 that's a nice little strap side med isn't is it strap side, mm -hmm. strap side yeah, yeah strap side yeah. med mm -hmm. blown nice. in mold that's yeah. 1890s, All right. right cool, around cool. turn of the century. Cool. A little bit earlier. Yes, sir. Nice, Joe. Well, I got back in it. Open these mount. I've All never right, guys. These well, up right here, so. we're going to keep messing around. I found a little mound right here. I'm going to dig a little hole, test hole in, see if we can find anything. Guys, check out this beautiful, like, peacock blue little bottle Joe just popped out. That thing's pretty. Is it ground top? I think it is. Yeah, ground mm -hmm. screw top. And you got a little B 1890s mm -hmm. to about 1905. That's you know, a star pattern on the bottom. Real nice, oh, man. And what else? A little bead? Like a little bead or something. It might be a marble. A marble or a, a, a gravity or a... Has it got a hole in it? Mm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's a little bead. Yeah, a little bead. Mm -hmm. Nice little blue cool. bead. Little milk glass right, right there. guys. Yeah. Well, that's it's a neat some... little finds. Yeah, we're getting into All it. All right. Oh. Well. Stuff is coming out. Uh, that's blue milk water. See that? Guys, check it out. Which one of you popped it out? Me. He did. Will just popped out a real nice trade pipe there, it looks like. Oh, it's got a little chip out of the top, but it does look like it has some, some it's texture got that, to it. Yeah, it's got that fancy kind of like hobnail design going around it. Yeah, that's nice. That's like my nice. my first pipe bowl that I've dug. Is it? Uh, only, yeah. Congratulations. The other one I dug was with you. So. Nice. Heck yeah. yeah, Will. That's pretty. It'll clean up nice. Yeah. See, why do you call it a trade pipe bowl? Did they trade with it or? It's called a trade pipe because actually the Native Americans, when they got put on reservations, yeah. would actually made those okay. and sold them at like, you know, settlements and things like that, trade cool. post. They were found at a lot of trade post. Not necessarily Native Americans, but people that worked at the trade post. Yeah. So yeah. Well, there were native tribes down. It here. could have been made by a Native American, but yeah, not necessarily. That's but yeah, they're called trade pipes just because nice. they were sold at the trade post back then, 1880s, 1890s. Yeah. I'm excited to get a cleanup pick on that one. It's gonna look nice. Uh oh. We got another bottle in the <laughs> hole, guys. Frostilla, it looks like. Grab Toiletry. That right now. Joe's about to pop out another one. Little pocket right here. Oh. Live action. Get her out of there, brother. Yeah, a little Frostilla. That was like for cleaning your uh, toilets and stuff like that. I did that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. From the fragrant, fragrant lotion. Fragrant lotion. There you go, boy. Everybody using all that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Smell like some Frostilla. <laughs> Stay live for a minute. What is that? Uh -oh. It's a big, some broken glass up against the metal, but you know, it's a pitchfork. Oh, it's a pitchfork. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. Man. That's go, cool. Check that out, guys. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good metal right here. That's Some neat. Check out that old pitchfork, guys. Everything, including the kitchen. Just gonna stay live for a minute. Another little bottle coming out. Little uh, McCormick. Uh, Slick. Slick. Yeah. 
This is where, yeah, they, these mounds, man. That's, oh, Ooh, is that blue? Yeah. Oh, oh, dude. Is that a, is that a, oh, is that a what? No, man. Oh. Look at that, Gus, live. All right. And, a, and there's a med beside it, too. Yeah, let's get Don't pry on it. Yeah. Come on, man. You know I think that's a, yeah. another, another Rollies. Rollies, but that looks, that that looks, looks really good. Yeah. That looks early. Oh, man, guys. What do we got? The excitement is growing. This now. Rollies, I'm, pro, I'm just going to put It's almost ready. No, it's actually. It pretty, could be touching another squat, though, down in there. Or whatever the heck that this, bottle is. Yeah, nice under, pretty nice, nice Rollies. Yeah, yeah, nice Rollies. And this. What in the world? Oh, it's still got that? some kind of cap on it. Yeah, it does. Don't pry on yeah. it. Just dig it out. There's something else right here. Oh, sorry. Oops, all kinds of all oh, kinds of metal up here. Is that metal oh or is that God. root? That's a root. That's a root, yeah. Let's go over top it's of it. It's underneath the root. Is that? Oh, oh it's, it's a little small. tiny. Oh, no, that's yeah. no. I think it? it's just a bluing bottle. <laughs> just a bluing? It's just filled with bluing. It's a screw top. It don't say nothing. Oh, man. I thought that was like a screw. It says yeah, it has yeah. the measurements on oh, it. Oh, dang. We thought we had squat <laughs> soda. Here, the Raleigh's end up being better. Good. Got about three Raleigh's, though, so far, guys. Yeah, these are the nice kind, too. They, they made them a lot cleaner than this. Guys, See that? Joe's got something crazy in the hole. What is that? Uh, uh, it's not oh, that's cool, man. It's a bud vase. Broken, but that's Be beautiful bud vase. Mm -hmm. And it's got the bottom of it knocked out. Man, that thing is I've got some weird things too. in this hole. Kind of that blue. The... You've been finding some cool this stuff. Work, this thing. Oh, yeah. He just popped that out, guys. Check that out. Crazy little go. atomizer perfume. There's <laughs> a top to a candy. It's just coming out like crazy, man. Yeah. There it is. All right, let's we'll keep be working at it. Now. See you on the next thing. All right, guys, I'm working right behind Will, and right there, got another bottle in the hole. Right underneath of this big root running across here, you can see protecting it, so chances of it being full are pretty good. Yeah, it feels full. Should be able to pull it right out of there. Yeah, they were both used to thick glass. Still got the stuff in it, too, look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is a Raleigh's. And it's still got the Raleigh's in it. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> you nasty looking stuff right there. That Raleigh you right up too, buddy. Are these blown? Rain again. No, they're machine made. No, they're machine made, cork top. We did find an earth. Right around 1915 on these ones. Bottle made in USA. Raleigh's real pretty. Light aquas. We're definitely into the right, Raleigh's yeah. pit, Those but are, uh, all right, just gonna keep working at it. Thing. See you back. Check out this seal that uh, Will just popped out, guys. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It says, uh, uh, patented 1884, May, May something, 1884. That's a nice little, that's a weird looking seal. Look at that. You know, I've actually had a jar. It had like the wire or something wrapped around the, like a screw thread. It had a, it had a clamp on top. That is craziness. Heck yeah, guys. All right. See that. Guys, check out what uh, Henry just popped out here. We thought it was a marble, but it's got a little seven on it. Like a little miniature pool ball or something. Not sure. That's cool though. Is it made out of clay? Feels like it, yeah. It does. Neat. Yeah. A little, uh, a little druggist bottle. Yeah. Oh, we're still messing around. A little pit, little pits here and there all through the woods, but Solid chunk. nothing crazy. Show that uh, Keys being Madison you just popped oh. out. Yeah, That's a pretty uh, bottle down here. Wooden. Is it like a wood doorknob almost? But it, no, it can't be. Or torch. Yeah. Down here, Henry. That's a pretty. Find something this new there. Keys being Madison out of Ambler, PA. It it's a screw top variant. Right around probably twenty thirties, but cool little cobalt ball. That that that's cool out. shit. Yeah. I like that. Real nice. That's wooden, isn't it? I don't think it's wood though. It's I mean, it, it looks like wood. It's <laughs> or, uh, maybe it's. Uh, it does look like look like wood. I don't know. Cool little doorknob though. It's not that's wood. Disgusting. No. Mm -mm. Like poop. <laughs> I want to smell that crap. Some kind of pottery there. Think the high probably put you out. Probably put you out quicker. That nice little Yeah, it's a fancy doorknob for sure. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, we got I don't know, not too much longer left. Of course, it's gonna get dark on us. Yeah, we're gonna leave y'all. We got to get out of here. So I don't know.
We'll see you back at the very, very end or if anything else cool comes out. Guys, me and Will are on the edge of a, where a house used to sit or a schoolhouse possibly. And uh, we've just been probing out the back property line. And I think I found a privy. You can see it's got a very thick clay cap. But we're down now a good three and a half feet and into that darker material. There's oyster shells coming up. There's some crunch bass. There's some bricks hanging out of the side down there. So even though it didn't look like privy material, there was nothing on top. I think this is going to be a good one. It ain't been dipped. It ate the whole probe. And uh, like it's got about a two foot clay cap right up against these trees not real old trees so the roots are not too bad this one over here may have some big ones running as we go deeper but that's one of these no glass just yet or did you say a little piece came out i think it was just an oyster shell just an oyster like shell that. no glass yet but you can see there are little tiny oyster shells coming out Break and down. we just we just went through the cap and then this is what came out the other side you slayer baby yeah all right, guys. Well, hopefully there's going to be some full stuff in here. See guys, that? we finally found a little uh, trash dump on this little mound where these trees are growing through. Look at the look at the shards coming out. Not even open pond, baby. 1840s, 1850s. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Man, that would have been nice. Uh, <laughs> quarter <laughs> ales. Here's a whole, whole bottle we found. Yeah, here's a whole one right here. Japanese gold paint just popped out. That's like but the newest thing in here. I just ripped all this like overburden off and we're just getting yeah, the roots uncovered. It's hard to tell what's going to come out, but I'm going to take my time and dig through here. See back. Guys, me and uh, Henry, just you can see this big like root cluster. We just kind of folded back over this big long root coming out of these trees. And look here, right there, guys. Looks like we got a blob in the hole, baby. Let's get it and see. There she is. Yeah, she's full. This is a... Chesapeake Brewing, it looks like it. What is it? I can't tell what it says. Hold on a second, guys. State? What in the world? Something island. Staten Island. What? Staten Island Bottling. Staten Island bottling company from baltimore. Oh, it's baltimore yeah from baltimore dang that's cool right. heck yeah right, staten island we all got blobs what in the world we all got blobs heck yeah almost the end of the trip but finally some old stuff's coming out oh and check it out guys i found all the pieces to this uh porter ale look at here from Baltimore. You can see the BLT there. It looks like all the shards are in there. I'll try to put it back together when I get home, but I'm gonna keep messing around. It's not real deep, but there's some old, old stuff. See you back. All right, guys, I'm still just picking around this tree. Lots of shards still coming out. And I think I just popped out a full bottle. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Dr. Marshall's. Dr. Marshall's snuff. Smooth base, but 1870s, 1880s on that one. Nice, nice. Dr. Marshall's snuff. Another full bottle. Take home with me. Nice. Heck yeah. All right. Gonna we'll keep working at it. See you back. It's there. Guys, check it out. The snuff bottle was right here. I'm working just right up under this kind of moss cluster. Right in there. 
I think I got a squat soda in the hole. Yes, sir. Squat soda in the hole, baby. Oh, it's embossed. Hold the camera, Henry. <laughs> no, sideways, man. You had it right. Look at that, guys. D. Roach, Baltimore, Maryland. Squat soda, baby. It says DR on the base, so 1870s, 1880s. Oh, man. <laughs> Guys, no, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. See you back. Dude. Oh, my goodness, Henry. Henry, Henry, brother, man. Guys, I'm literally still working around this tree. Doesn't come back quite this far, but up under this tree seems to be real good. You can see I got a, like a fireplace damper. I got this strange looking doohickey with a hook on it and a little hole on the end. I got this strange looking contraption. What? My phone's ringing, my hands are all muddy. Oh. And down in here, shoot, there's a bottle right there. It just popped out in the root. And then there's a amber bottle right there. Let's get this little one first. Looks like a little eye water or something. Yeah, it's a Thompson's. Nice. That's an older one. Sweet. Dr. Thompson's eye water. I think is what it says. Yep. Dr. Thompson's eye water. It is. Got a number six on the base. Dr. Thompson's eye water, probably 1880s, 1890s, right there, full bottle, and then right there, looks to be full, long neck on that thing, I think it's a blob, yeah, here she comes, here she comes guys, boom, <laughs> yes sir, this is a Hoster's this was the very first blob I ever dug. Hoster from Columbus, Ohio. This is an earlier one, uh, 1880s, 1890s. Nice. I'm talking like three inches under the ground we're at right now, baby. <laughs> See you back. Guys, I'm up here with Will. We finished cleaning around that tree. Henry's messing around over a little bit more. Over there too. more Will's been over here eyes. digging around right by this tree. Stone, uh, Looks like some blade. decent age coming out of here too. And uh, he's got a soda bottle in the hole. Or here. Beer. But we've been, yeah, it's a crown. It's a machine made crown. Machine made crown, yeah. GBS. But these are always cool. You gotta keep it down. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, GBS beer. That's Baltimore. That, isn't that it? was out, out of the uh yeah, that was out of the dump too. We gotta dig this area out. I think it's gonna be good. You think so? Yeah. Alright guys, we'll mess around a little bit longer. See you back. All right, guys, I had to walk back and get the bucket and uh, shovel. And Will says, while I was gone, <laughs> while I was gone, he's got a blob or a crown in the hole. Yeah. Right there, it looks it's like a blob. something. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, yeah buddy. Uh, I don't even care, man. That's awesome, Jacob bro. Jacob Rupert. Jacob Rupert. Baltimore. Baltimore branch. Yeah. What's it say on the bottom of it? Somebody's name? Henry L. Lemcool Manufacturer. Lemuel. Lemuel, yeah. That that was supposed to be my last name originally. Really? Lemuel. Oh man, that thing looks That's a cool, shape man. Too. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, nice dark amber. Is that a Baltimore loop seal? I think so. I can't tell until you clean it up. It's not as big of a blob 1880s, as the other one. 1880s, 1890s. Yeah. Dude, right under the surface. And right next to this. Look at that. Yeah, right case, next to a case crazy gin case and... gin. Is that Pondal? Yep. Is it? Mm. Or just it's yeah. old, or whatever it is. It might be sand panels. Pretty rough base there. We're talking. I mean, literally. I, I mean, think definitely seventies. Three, three inches below the surface. Blobs, yeah, that blob's nice. Stuff. I mean, this All right, guys. Crazy, we're, this is our next little scratch around spot, and we'll right, see we you back. The surface. This thing goes. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a bottle in the hole. It looks to be a crown top this time. You can see I got it pretty much uncovered and then a little tiny piece of another one right there showing above it. But this one should be about ready to go. You can see just oyster shells all around it. Henry's got my little pick over there, so I'll just use an oyster shell for now. Let's see if I can get my finger in the lip. Is he coming over? Yeah. You got the pick, Henry? There it is. I got it. GBS? George Gunther. Oh, okay. George Gunther Brewing. Alone? With the G. I think so. No. No, machine made crown top. George Gunther. No, no, it was a GBS. Right there. And then. I don't know what this is yet, guys. That's a corn shit, huh? Not sure what this is yet. This could be you a want blob. To stay another day, Travis? You got my pick? It's, it's over in the back over there. Go grab it. All right, guys. I just popped out another Crown Top Gunther uh, Junior Brewing Company. And then right here on the other side of the tree behind me, got another Crown. Will's got an amber crown in the hole. Kind of a turtle yeah, it's pretty much ready to come out. Might be a turtle. Yeah. Is it a Chesapeake? No, it's an amber GBS. It's a GBS. It's a less common. Uh, it's a less common one. So you got an aqua, or you got a GBS blob and a crown top. Well, you got the, two crown tops. Oh, and you got an aqua and amber GBS. Yeah, and a blob. <laughs> and a blob. Nice, man. The trifecta of GBS. Yeah, I got their whole uh, whole product line. Cool. The big, big worm right here. It is a nice big worm. Eat it. Nah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're, we're going to keep going. Out. We're going to meet around this tree eventually. See you back. Guys, what an absolutely incredible um, two days trip it's turned out to be up here to the eastern shore. I am filthy. We've been out uh, bottle digging. We did a privy that was completely empty. Super old though, there were square nails and uh, old pumpkin brick coming out. But then we went back into the woods behind the uh, privy and found a small little tiny surface dump around a couple trees. And uh, man, it was so awesome. 1870s, 1880s, 1890s blobs, squats, meds, broken pawnal stuff. And then yesterday in this yard, I found... Uh, the homeowner's um, wedding band after he had lost it 15 years ago. That was real special to me. You guys are going to see all that. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's adventures. Um, it was an absolutely incredible time. Not what I'm used to. The dumps where I'm from, Western Maryland, are a little bit deeper and stuff around here. It's real sandy and uh, oyster shells under the ground everywhere. And the dumps are literally inches under the ground but they are old this place is i think goes back to like the 1600s so we've been exploring some nice old stuff did some metal detecting found some cool stuff bottle dug found some cool stuff all three of us me henry and will all got blobs and will got that sweet uh 
Baltimore whiskey that I can't find on Worth Point at all. The M Green Bomb. The only one I can find is the L Green Bomb. I did find an M Green Bomb uh, whiskey jug, but no flask at all. So that might, might possibly be the only one known. And then the blob that I just dug this evening, the George Ruth Proprietor, Staten Island. I just looked it up on Worth Point. Extremely rare. There was three of them listed all over $100. So one of them was like 220 and it was 2018 it sold. So it's up there. Good, real nice uh, find. A little bit um, more valuable than the squat soda even I pulled. So even though it's a little bit earlier, you never do know, you know, where the value is going to lie or the rarity. But it's been an absolutely incredible time. I'm going to uh, probably stay the night one more night instead of driving back late tonight. Enjoy the uh, view out here. I'll flip you guys around and show you what I'm looking at right now. Check I'm this out. I'm literally right on, uh, I can't remember what the name of this river is, Will told me, but let's walk back here. Look how pretty it is, guys. Just absolutely gorgeous. You can't beat the view. What a wonderful, wonderful two days it's been. Got an auction tomorrow night, so probably just gonna get home early in the morning and rest until the auction time, and then a consignment on Sunday. But yeah, gold ring, a full one this time, no damage at all, that's really cool. A gold ring, 14 karat gold, ended up belonging to the homeowner, which was absolutely awesome. And then capped it off today with three blobs two crown beers a dr marshall snuff and a dr thompson's eye water so you never do know what's out there guys all we did today basically was just walk around the wood lines and uh you know look for bottle shards and dig some test holes and it really paid off let's walk out here on the dock real quick Absolutely beautiful. I love it here. It's so peaceful too. So we're just going to end this right here, guys, with a little a ASMR. Just going to sit here and let you listen to the natural sounds. Right, guys hope you enjoyed this week's adventures and uh finds it was absolutely awesome time and uh see you next time guys